Now what we'd like to do is write the Euler turbine equation in terms of some stage design parameters. such as omega, rotational speed, beta A, flow angle into the stage, and beta prime B, the rotor flow leaving angle. So starting from the Euler turbine equation, CP TTA, TTB over TTA minus 1 equals omega R B U theta B minus R A U theta A. We can write that the velocity at A, UA, is UXA tan beta a, so this is equal to u x a for beta a equals zero, and u b is u x b tan beta b, which is going to be equal to omega r minus u x b tan beta prime b. This is the transformation from the absolute frame to the rotating frame. So putting that in, we get that CP, TTA, TTB over TTA minus 1 equals omega, omega RB squared minus RB UXB tan beta prime B minus R A U X A and beta A and so some further rearrangement yields T T B over T T A equals one plus omega R B squared over CP PTA times one minus UXB over Omega RB times tan beta prime B plus RA UXA over R E U X B tan beta A and this is a very useful equation. This term is the stagnation temperature change. across the stage. This term is proportional to the blade tip Mach number squared. So what that means M tip is omega R B over where R if R B is the tip radius, gamma R T B. This term is proportional to the flow through the compressor. This has a name, we call this the flow coefficient.
has the symbol phi and it's uxb over omega rb and these two things beta prime b and beta a are set by the design of the blade rule. So from this equation we can extract some trends. So looking at stagnation temperature rise, this will increase with tip mock squared and decrease with increasing mass flow. So if we have fixed positive weight angles, we get something that looks like this. Mass flow rate, compressor stage temperature ratio, where this is increasing values of M tip and there'll be a line out here hopefully on which the compressor is unstable due to viscous effects. <laughs>